Mark Zuckerberg offered an impressive severance package for 11,000 Facebook employees who were being laid off. They were offered 16 weeks of salary plus two additional weeks for every year of service without instituting a limit. So, if someone has served five years at Meta, he will get around six months of pay. Meta Platform will also continue to extend health insurance coverage for six months for both employees and their dependents, plus provide three months of career support with an external vendor, including early access to unpublished job leads. The company's official blog said, the sacked employees will also receive restricted stock units that are due to vest on the 15th of November. It means they will be able to cash in on those shares. Indian companies aren't ferrying very different wares from Meta when it comes to severance packages. Baiju's announced on the 12th of October that it was laying off 5% of its workforce, nearly 2,500 employees. CEO Ravindran assured an expansive exit package consisting of extended medical insurance coverage for employees and their families for six months. Provision to keep the company assets till the time they need. The company will also provide assistance to the laid-off employees in their hunt for jobs as they continue to remain on Baiju's payroll. Unacademy has also laid off 10% of its workforce or about 350 employees this week. The laid-off employees will get severance pay equivalent to their notice periods and an additional two months' salaries, an accelerated one-year vesting period, medical insurance coverage for an additional one year, and dedicated placement and career support, according to an email by CEO Gaurav Munjal. So, why have firms begun to invest more in strong severance packages? Anandarup Ghosh, partner at Deloitte India, explains. Severance is not just about you know letting an employee go. It's about letting an employee go with a certain level of care and concern and, and understanding of the employee's context and so on. But equally, I think equally the important thing to understand is it's also about letting an, let, communicating to existing and future employees about what you stand for as an employer. So it's a messaging that you have to do. And therefore, most of these organizations, I think, realize that this messaging is important. So you can't just be doing it randomly as uh, you, some of them or some any, any of them might have done in the past. Abel Joseph, co-founder of Isle, agrees and stresses the human aspect of the process of layoffs. Uh, usually what happens during cost-cutting practices or, or mass layoffs is that uh, the employees start to question the transparency between, uh, you know, them and the management, right? And the, the trust sort of erodes. Uh, and so human emotions are at play. And, and if you talk about the practicality of businesses itself, for them to grow, especially when it comes to like B2B companies, uh, their clients would probably question the longevity of the business. Uh, and, and I think, uh, you know, the negative PR is definitely not going to help in acquiring uh, you know, new customers. Can the size and quality of the exit perks be correlated with the investment that startups like Baiju's or Unacademy received? Ghost says no. Personally, would not correlate um, investments or funding with this, this these kinds of severance packages because of a health plan or insurance plan for longer than your uh, termination for a period of time beyond uh, someone is asked to go. That's a fairly common practice around the world. Uh, it's it's it, you'll see that everywhere and even in India that's a fairly common practice increasingly because it's very imp it's required right. In fact, the severance as well as the severance packages might both stem from the overall culture intrinsic to the startup sector, says Joseph. Uh, but I think this is a direct result of lack of focus, foresight, and frugality. Discipline was never part of the culture in the first place, right? Especially when you have. Uh, companies announced that, hey, you know what, you can work from home uh, forever and you don't really have a, a particular time that you have to come to work at. You can work whenever, wherever, as long as you clock in your hours, it's all good. Uh, you basically go away from the traditional ways of operating a business where you completely judge on your discipline and your contributions to the company. Even as the IT sector plans a course correction and switches to a cautionary strategy for the next few quarters, it is clear that they want to send out a positive message to future job seekers, like an extension of medical insurance have been in place for a long time. One wonders 
if traditional business houses are also holding themselves to such high standards? Well, that's a question for another day. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.